Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can add a watermark into our Excel reports. So unlike Microsoft Word that has a watermark feature, Excel doesn't have a watermark feature, but we can get a similar effect with using shapes in Excel. So let's see how we can do this. So first thing we're gonna do is go up to the insert tab and choose a shape. And we're gonna use this text box shape here. So let's add that into our workbook and let's type in some text for our watermark. So this is going to be a draft version and let's just highlight that text. And the first thing we're going to do with it is make it bigger. So we're going to go up to the home tab and just increase that font quite a bit. And that's probably good. Let's just resize that. So it's all on one line. And we're also going to center this and put it in the middle. And then the next thing we're going to do is go up to the shape format tab with our shape selected. And right now this shape is blocking our report. So we want to see the numbers behind our report. So we got to get rid of the background color there. So let's select our shape and go up to the shape format tab. And let's change the fill options here. So we're gonna have no fill. Now we can see the background. And we also wanna have no outline. So there's no borders around our text there. Now that's pretty good, but the letters are blocking some of the report. So we, what we're gonna do is change the transparency of those. Now to change the transparency of the text, what we're gonna need to do is right click and go to format shape. And that's gonna bring up this format shape menu here. And if we go to the text options and under text fill, we're gonna use a solid fill still, but there's options for transparency down here. And we're gonna increase that transparency to something high, like 85%. And we can still see that it says draft version, but now we can see the numbers in our report a lot better when that's over top of them. And instead of having our text horizontally, maybe we just want to give it a little tilt here so we can tilt that and put it across our entire report. And when we're done, we can go up to the file tab and go to print and check out our print preview. And that's looking pretty nice. If we want to adjust the position of that, we might want to go to the view tab and check out page layout. And that way we can see where it's going to lay in one page of a printed report. And if we want to add that to our second or third pages in our report, what we're going to have to do is copy and paste that and just put it over into our second page. And now we can go to the file tab and check it out one last time. And let's check out page two. So that's how you can add a watermark into your Excel reports using the text box shape and then changing some of the fill and outline and transparency settings. And that's gonna give us a nice version of a watermark. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.